Hi guys and welcome back to Smack Vision where I am your host Ange and um, my best friend Kate and I have we started this channel we started the Weight Watchers Freestyle program in February of this year it has been 31 weeks that I've been doing it Kate is taking a break she's been on a break for a few weeks so it's just been me kind of carrying the torch so to speak um, and uh, this is uh, this video is my weekly Smackdown Roll Call video and what this is is every week I do my weigh-in video on Mondays it's called my Smackdown to show you that I'm smacking the pounds down or hopefully report that I'm smacking them down and um, those uh, you guys are, uh, that watch and follow along I you guys email me and tell me how your weight loss and how your weigh-ins are going and I shout you out on my cute little microphone here and um and so let's get to it so this week um i had some people reach out to me and we're gonna dive right in and uh this these are just going in the way the order of like how i receive them and uh so let's get started uh oh hello well that was weird okay let's get started first off Kathy Coburn! Kathy Coburn, she wrote me in and she said she had some really good news this week. She said that she lost 2.3 pounds! And that she finally made it to Wonderland! Kathy, that's so great. I cannot wait to get to Wonderland. You must be so proud and you damn well should be, girl. Good for you. Good for you. Excellent job this week, Kathy. Next, Pamsky, Pamsky, Pam Ornez. Hola, Pam. Como estas? <laughs> okay, so Pam, Pam has been following us and emailing us for months, and uh, she kind of took a, a little hiatus in August. She said she was getting back to it, and um, I, we love Pam. We um, gave her this nickname, Pamsky, because that's what we do. We give you a nickname, pretty much. So if you're right in, maybe we'll think of a, a cute little nickname for you. Pamsky, however, is Team, Team Sandy. Sandy. Now, if you're new here, there's a lovely lady named Sandy over on the Let's Get Fit with Sandy's channel who is challenging me to a little duel to see who can get to the two teens first. First, we had a contest to see who can get to the two twenties, and I beat her. But she is determined to beat me to the two teens. And um, Pam has been following Sandy for a long, long time, way longer than she's been following me. And so, rightfully so, she is loyal to Sandy. However, she does stay cordial and keep in touch with us so that she can get a shout out on my cute little microphone here. But that's okay. We forgive her because um, Sandy's great. And anybody who's on Team Sandy is just as great. And um, would be even greater if you would at least consider coming over to my team. Um, it would be nice. But it's okay if you are loyal Sandy, uh, you know, followers. Anyway, getting back to the Pamsky. Pamsky wrote in and she says that she's back on track due to inspiration from all of us YouTubers out here and that she joined a six week get fit challenge. She thanks us and um, we thank her for um, just like keeping up with us and um, she did a great job this week because she lost 3.4 pounds. To get back to it and she lost 3.4 pounds and that is so great to hear Pamsky I'm glad you're refocused and you're back with it and um, good for you keep it up keep up the good work okay next sparkly Susan sparkly Susan wrote in and she's been at lifetime for a while 
Um, and she said that last week she was trying to get back to her like lifetime goal cushion weight. So like basically a couple pounds under lifetime. And this week she is happy to report that she lost two pounds. So she weighs 128 and her goal lifetime goal weight is 130. So she's got two pounds to breathe. And she sent me, last, uh, two weeks ago, she sent me a picture of her, like, scale with her toes, and they were covered with, like, little emojis because she needed a pedicure. But this week, she sent me, with the full toes, the scale, pedicure, picture, um, that she got her toes done. So, <laughs> good for her. Good job, Susan. I'm happy for you. I'm so happy for you. That's great. Okay, next. Susan. <laughs> From the Sue Slim Down channel, she is challenging Sandy to see who can lose 100 pounds first. And this week, she weighed in and she lost seven, I'm sorry, no, four pounds. And for a grand total of 75.9 pounds. So she is getting so close to losing 100 pounds. She lost four pounds this week. Like... I really have to catch up on your videos, Sue, because I don't know what you're doing to lose four pounds in a week. But, like, I need to do that. So, I, I gotta I gotta get in there and, and check you out and see what you're doing. So, go check her channel out. And uh, whatever she's doing, do it. <laughs> because she lost four pounds this week. So, um, it looks like she's going to beat out Sandy. If Sandy can't get it together. Who is our next person? Sandy! Or as I nicknamed her, Miss Smackalackin. Well, because she nicknamed me the Brat. And so I think that she deserved her own nickname. And so I told her it's Smackalackin. Because she says, I gotta get Crackalackin all the time with her weight loss and things that she needs to do. She always says that. So I think Smackalackin was more, um, you know, more pertaining to her. So Sandy wrote in. She weighs in on Saturday mornings. I texted her while she was about to weigh in. I said, good luck today, Sandy. I text her and we chat outside of the, the YouTube world. And um, she said that she weighed in and she lost <laughs> point <laughs> five of a pound this week. And she's been working her ass off, working out, doing water aerobics and water walking and working out, working out. The damn lady should be looking like Cheryl Teagues at this point. Okay, so she lost a grand total of 73.3 pounds. So that's a lot of weight, Sandy. Good job. I'm so proud of you. And uh, this week, she, her, grand, her grand total weight is 230.9, which puts her a little less than 10 pounds behind me so sandy you're gonna have to lose 10 pounds and another 0.9 to be able to beat me to the two teens and i only have two pounds to lose to get to the two teens so can you do it sandy can you lose it i know you're gonna try your damnedest because you're doing a great job so good good job sandy we love you you're the best okay next nicola nicola has been working hard to get off her um her uh, work trip weight gain that she she gained some weight when she went away on her trip but this week she's happy to report that she lost 2.4 pounds for a grand total of 17.3 pounds so that's good good job nicola so now you don't have to worry about that so now you're you know moving forward and you're doing a good job and she said that her current weight is 203 pounds so she's close to wonderland so um that's good that's good i'm happy for you nicola how are you feeling are you feeling better you feel like you know i got off 17 pounds like that's that's pretty good that's a good amount of weight and i'm sure you can already notice it in the way that you feel and the way that your clothes fit and i'm sure people in your life probably noticed it um so good for you nicola keep it up next Aubrey Lara Aubrey she wrote and she caught us up she says that on uh, September 7th she weighed in and she lost 0.6 of a pound and then on September 14th she lost 1.8 pounds for a grand total of 21.4 pounds that she lost so that's good Aubrey that's great 
um, 21.4 pounds. Good for you, girl. Keep it up. Keep it up and keep writing me in. And this week, my final uh, person that caught me this morning right before I started filming was Cassandra Rosa. She's a friend of mine. She worked at Cheesecake with me. And she doesn't work there anymore. But she also has her own channel where she's vlogging her weight loss journey. She does keto. And I think after this, this was her first week on keto. And she is super ecstatic to report that she lost five pounds this week. She lost five pounds this week. That is so great, Cass. Five pounds. And she shows, like, all the stuff that she eats. She eats a lot of, like, Parmesan cauliflower casserole and frittatas and sausages and sour creams and cheeses and mayos and all those things that keto people eat. I can't have that stuff on the, the Weight Watcher points because it's so many points. But it's working for her and her husband, and they're both doing it. And um, that means... And good for you guys. So go check her channel out. Maybe if you're interested in keto, maybe if you're having a hard time with the Weight Watchers and, you know, you, you need to switch it up, you can go check out keto and see what that's all about. She's sweet. She's super sweet. So that's it. That's all I have this week for my bye, Smackdown bye. Roll Call. And uh, thank you so much for emailing about um, what's going on with you guys. Um, I... Uh, I went to J.C. Penney the other day. Quick little story. I went to J.C. Penney on Friday, and I was shopping around for Carlos's birthday present, and I decided to try some clothes out, like some clothes on, because my I'm like running out of clothes that fit me, which is good and bad, <laughs> because it's good because you know I'm losing the weight, but it's bad because. I need to keep buying clothes, and I probably should go to secondhand stores at this in this time when I'm like losing fast and the sizes are going down but I just so happened to be at JCPenney and I had a coupon and so I I got some clothes and I I bought a sweater in a size large size large and I bought some jeans some jeggings and they were size 14s and when I first started I was wearing 22s and 2x I even had some 3x tops and so for me to fit into a large, I literally wanted to cry in Marshalls the other day, too. I went into Marshalls, and I tried this jacket on that was really cool. It was like that army green type of color, and it was a large jacket. I'll, I'll maybe insert the picture, and it fit me, and I zipped it up, and I was, like, so happy. I was going to buy it, but I'm like, 50 bucks for a jacket for the fall. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off. I'm going to hold off because I just bought, I bought, like, a winter coat. <laughs> for I don't know how much a couple weeks ago that I got to use that I haven't used yet too so I didn't buy the jacket but I'll put the picture in so um but you know I'm excited to be able to be using clothes that are in like regular people's stores and I can find stuff that fits me like and I can zip it and I'm not you know it's just it's just so it's a whole new world and I'm super happy about it and I'm sure all of you guys who are following along are feeling these great non-scale victory feelings and it's just so I'm just so happy about it and I'm happy for all of you guys and thanks for keeping me updated and um you know thanks for following us along following along with us Kate, as I said, she's taking a break. I'm not sure when she's coming back or if she's coming back. I hope she does, and I hope the best for her. And um, everybody, just email me. Put your comments in. Like, subscribe, share. I need more subscribers. And uh, also, I'm collecting peanut butter or monetary donations for my job at the Cheesecake Factory for the whole month of September because it's Hunger Action Awareness Month. And um, it, it's people are donating. We donate for Feeding America for the hungry kids going back to school. Peanut butter is a high protein um, item. It lasts a long time on the shelf and it goes a long way and anything helps so email me get at me if you want to send me some peanut butter or you want to go buy your local cheesecake factory and drop some off or drop some cash off or go on the link i'll put it in there and you can go and donate and I'll put my store number so they know where they heard where you heard about it and um thank you so much this is Ange from smack vision 
and this is my weekly Smackdown Roll Call video. So keep watching for more here, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.